side. We're going to label the lower arm. This is the ulna. It goes into the pinky side. And here's the radius. It goes into the thumb side. The wrist bones here, I'll go down and do the hand first. The wrist bones here are called the carpals. The bones that come across the hands are called the metacarpals. And then the fingers are the phalanges. And we can label the proximal, me, um, middle, and distal phalanx okay, on those. And then on the on these two bones, notice that the ulna, okay, the ulna looks like this. It's got a C. The top portion of the ulna is called the olecranon process. Down here, it's called the coronoid, coronoid process. And then this carved out area in here is called the trochlear notch. Okay, and then we can label the styloid process. Okay, down here, styloid just means pointed process. And then on the radius, okay, we can label the head. We can label this little notched area, not notched, but raised area. We call that the radial tuberosity. And then it also has a styloid process, okay, in here. Notice that on the back of the um, humerus, that carved out area is called the olecranon fossa. And the top part of the C on the um, on the ulna goes into that um, area. That's the olecranon process going into the olecranon fossa when you straighten your arm at the elbow. And then on the front side, we have a coronoid fossa, and then the bottom part of the C here was the coronoid process. And when you bend your arm at the elbow, the coronoid process on the ulna goes into the coronoid fossa and the humerus.